would come ever. Alani by Kim K. This is crazy. This is so freaking cute. She knew what she was doing. Kimberly. I tried all the other ones. Kimade. Kimade. Oh, do we have to try this one? Yes. So we're in the car now. We just left Target and we ended up coming across this Alani, but it's by Kim K. It's called Kim Aid. And yeah, it's pink. Like, this is cute as fuck. This is so adorable. So I just opened it up. I'm about to try it now. It smells like. Like sweet, like berry ish. Like a candy or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's even very, like, very sweet. Tastes like it almost some other drinks that Alani has. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Definitely give me, like, lemonade or something. Right. So, I would give this, what do you think? Like a one out of ten or one out of five, like a smaller scale like a three a one out of three i mean a three out of a five mm -hmm. Good sense. Mm -hmm. i'd probably give it like a four put it in the fridge because th this wasn't in the fridge maybe yeah. if it's cold or two yeah not bad i feel like i only gave it a three because it do taste like another drink that alani already had yeah it yeah. tastes familiar maybe like all her drinks are just like so sweet that that's what it's giving yeah but okay this is my review on the kimade alani so cute. And <laughs> the right. Pliable, period. Now we are at the park. We're just gonna chill, vibe out, eat some pliable. I plan to read, journal. Yeah, watch the water. It's gonna be so relaxing. So we grabbed some snacks already. We got, what is it? Some Georgia peach water. And I have a peach soda, which is actually pretty good. Oh my gosh. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> But yeah, he's we're about, about to. The that's what I'm saying, bro. Like he's all bones. Okay. <laughs> Dude, though, he got no. This is crazy. Okay. Um. That's dedication. Cause I was never. <laughs> he said that's dedication. <laughs> um. Is he not passing by? <laughs> that was a lot. Hold on. <laughs> Talk to him. She tried to make you bring a journal, but no journal. I'm gonna read a book. I'm reading Verity. If y'all haven't heard of it, check it out. It's a Colleen Hoover book. So good. Check it out. It's kind of like scary, but like romantic. And I think that's why I really like her books because they're romantic or they have like that twist to it. And I like those kind of books. 
So yeah, check that book out. It's really good. I'm about to finish it. I think I have like 100 pages left. Hopefully I can knock mm. it out at the park. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. If I got my pliable. <laughs> oh my God, these pliables are about to hit. Anyway, I guess we'll see you when we go out there. Bye. Shit going right into his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting bit the fuck up by something. Aww. Cause I was recording. <laughs> you thirsty as hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was not that good. <laughs> these, these are fire. They're good. Aya, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> Why well, they all just Why freeze? <laughs> Evia, they plotted. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. I'm about to go to work. I had a bagel, a smoothie, and an alani. <sighs> I'm just here chilling in my car before work because yeah i'm watching youtube kind of just thinking about life looking at the trees life is crazy life be life in <laughs> you want to know something here's some advice go with your gut always go with your gut like for real go with your gut unless your gut is a little crazy right but people will make you feel like you're fucking crazy because they can't handle to tell you the truth because they're cowards and liars that's my ted talk and that's okay you could do everything you could try and be everything for someone and they still just gonna be dirty and that's okay This is good. Mango. But yeah. It's a new day of the week. That's always like super exciting. You get to create your, your days every single day. My skin is finally like trying to get it together because it was acting crazy this past week. But yeah, I'm just tearing my thoughts. I start working like five minutes. I hope that you all know that you're amazing, that you can do anything you put your mind to. Every day is a new day to begin a brand new you if you want. Like, go for that life that you want, make it happen, and do what you need to do. Set a routine for yourself. I'm realizing that self-love isn't always about the candles and the products and all that. Self-love is self-discipline. <clears throat> when you have self-discipline you get self-confidence and once you're confidence you are loving on yourself and you are doing the things you need to do even though it's hard yeah good morning everyone it's tuesday morning and 
<laughs> if you follow me then you know tuesday mornings are my therapy session days yeah it was a really good therapy session like I decided if I'm going to be doing therapy, then I, I need to stop with, like, the surface bullshit if I want to take therapy seriously and get to the, like, deeper things that's really bothering me because so much stuff bothers me. And when he asked, I'm kind of just like, no, oh, everything was good this week. And, like, whole time I was falling the fuck apart. So it was a really good session. We talked about feelings. I told him, like, I've been feeling angry lately and, like, super sad and we just talked about all that like for instance he was basically telling me that you have to like make friends with your emotions like this generation focuses so much on managing your emotions and dealing with them when in all reality sometimes it's okay to be like hey anger i see you i'm with you if you promise not to overwhelm me then we'll deal with this together and it's like talking to your inner child almost so I really like that point of view, um, setting boundaries for myself and like having those hard conversations that I need to have in order to like grow successfully and move on with certain things in my life. So great therapy session. I got this little pamphlet on emotions. You already know I got my Starbucks today. I did a venti iced white mocha with oat milk, of course. And yesterday, my co-worker taught me how to do the twist in your hair. I'm in love. It takes like two seconds to do. Easier than braiding. And it looks so freaking cute. So yeah, I'm officially a twist girly, you know. I'm about to go to work now. And deal with these kids. But I get to give them back at the end of the day. <laughs> so yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Today's Tuesday. It's been rainy outside but i'm feeling good thank you for always tuning into my shit and again's listening to my advice and my ted talks and the things that i have going on in my life because your girl be going through it and you guys are just following on this journey with me as i become the best of myself the best version of myself this is always gonna hit continue to be your best self do the best that you can for yourself even if that day it's not that high it's okay to do the minimum for yourself so with that being said peace good morning everybody today's wednesday it's hump day as they like to say i woke up early this morning and i showered and washed my hair hair length check because this job is getting so long so yeah i have my chlorophyll water that i'm sipping on i stopped at wawa's i need to stop oh my goodness like Wawa's just so convenient and I used to be like strictly against Wawa like no their food is trash da, da, da. but then I like really started looking around and finding things that I like and Wawa has me in a choke cold right now but I got a uh, my usual my plain bagel with the mixed berry cream cheese I got some grapes and cheese and crackers kind of to snack on this morning too and then for lunch, I got this honey smoked turkey and provolone wrap with Dijon mayo. This shit is kind of fire, okay? And then I'm always getting Celsius at Wawa because I can never find the Alani's. Bitch, right next to the Celsius is the Alani's. <laughs> so I grabbed the Kim Aid one. It's just so cute. I love the pink. Yeah. And then, of course, for lunch, um my sweet potato chips to go with the wrap so yeah delani's getting drunk now drank drunk consumed then this i might snack on if i still have time after the bagels but i still have like a good 30 minutes until i have to clock in for work yes me okay waking up early not clocking into work 20 minutes late <laughs> um I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, my Italian charms came. So I got this Italian charm bracelet for like $10, $11, or even less on Amazon, right? I got the basic, the stars, right? And then I ordered some charms, and they were taking a while to come, but they finally came. 
I thought it was coming from it from Italy because it's an Italian charm bracelet. No, bitch. It's coming from Australia or it came from Australia. This is like a sun and a moon. Then this one they threw in for free. It's like a heart. And then I have this Virgo charm that I got because Virgo season is approaching. I got this one. This one is freaking adorable. It's like two cats. You see the black and the white? Anyway, it's two cats looking at fish. No, you're not going to see it, but I'll show you guys later. And yeah, so I got those four charms. And it just like adds so much character to my bracelet now, which I freaking love. So I got this. But yeah, I hope everybody continues to have an amazing week. I hope that... I hope that life is falling in place for everybody. Everybody realizes that even when things are bad, they always get good again. So like you can never last in this state forever, even if it feels like that. So, but the change is up to you. It's between you and God, get closer to God or whatever it is that you may praise, worship, follow, I don't know. Um, get in tune get grounded with yourself with god and yeah just keep just keep going just keep keeping on because that's all we can do so those are my words Peace.